What's something you didn't tell your ex? No, oh, cheating on him too. Now you know. You already had a nigga waiting. Pending. A whole bunch of niggas. But I want to go pick my favorite one. You got two bitches, I got two niggas. You guys think y'all are so smart, but like y'all are like creatures of habit, right? Me and my nigga used to fuck like three times a day. After like a little bit, like the nigga would be like, oh babe, I'm tired. Or I don't feel like having sex. Or like I wouldn't even say shit. Like he wouldn't try to fuck on me. And that would go for like on for like a week. Like ain't no way I'm laying in the bed next to you butt naked every night and you're not trying to fuck me you're doing like you're there's something going on oh, i'm trying to i gotta focus like i don't like i'm trying to like no you're cheating you're just tired from work for a week yeah. fuck out of here you wasn't tired last week when we was fucking three times a day and you still had the same job <laughs> you fucking crazy <laughs> so like i went through his phone he was like talking to some stripper bitch from new york i was like okay bet. i didn't even say nothing because the money was good I was like, okay, cool. We can both cheat and you can still pay all my rent. And the nigga coming to lay up in the house that you paying for. Shit ain't right. I agree. It's wrong. Why not just break up with the nigga? Why he didn't break up with me? Because we're wired to just want and have multiple women. Yeah, and women are wired to be petty. But the thing is, like, you're being petty, he doesn't even know. And now he know. YouTube, uh, what it is. It's your boy, Steph, man. We'll go back to another cold video topic, man. We, we, we'll dive into this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Steph is Cold as well. Now, shout out to my boy, Finesser. Um, I'm definitely going to be shooting on to his podcast, man, in the future. You know what I'm saying? Um, but this is, this is a video that I wanted to react to. Um, and, you know... I love videos like this because it shows you guys the modern woman on the highest level. Now, when we go to um, this girl's Instagram, my bad, my bad, y'all. When we go to this, when we look up this girl's Instagram, her name is Megan James. She has 1.2 million followers. She's following 1,300 people. Um, when you go to her post, she's definitely on the influencer. Um, she has the Hollywood group chat podcast. Um, she's definitely influencer type of chick. Um, you know what I'm saying? Talking her shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a talk my shit now. Okay. Now notice she says she went through his phone and she's saying she says I'm stripper bitch from New York. You know what I'm saying? And um, notice she said, uh, he said, uh, no, we're going to play the video. We're going to play the video. I want to play the video to hear what she said word from word. This is what she said. Let's play the video. What's something you didn't tell your ex? No, she on him too. Now you know. You already had a nigga waiting. Pending. A whole bunch of niggas. But I want to go pick my favorite one. You got two bitches, I got two niggas. You guys think y'all are so smart, but like y'all are like creatures of habit, right? Me and my nigga used to fuck like three times a day. She said, see, Vanessa asked her, you, you, so you already had a nigga lined up. She said, I had plenty niggas lined up. That's, that's what you niggas got to understand. The modern woman has all these niggas lined up and whatever whatever kind of rhythm your girl is giving a nigga that's the next nigga in line let me say that one more time and i just fucking rhyme whatever nigga that your girl is giving rhythm to that is the nigga that has next in line her favorite nigga that's the nigga that's gonna get the sweet watery guts next and then after she done with the favorite nigga the next nigga is next up in line then she said you know she made a comment right i want to pull up this comment right see let's pull up this comment because she did make a comment in um finesse's um comment so she said and put it right here she said y'all missing the part that he cheated while i was being faithful and was sloppy enough to get caught so i cheated back you know you never gonna know your girl cheating on you bro unless you go through that phone and um you can't go through the phone like 
You texting her. Bitch, when I get home, I'm finna go through your phone. Nigga, you gotta do it smooth. How she do it? See, the same way a woman, the same way a woman can learn from a man, my nigga, you can learn from a woman. I learned a lot of game from women. I learned to put in your, I learned to silence in the notifications from a woman. I learned that putting your phone in the locker room before we go work out when you're working out with your nigga because you don't want all the notifications going off of all the other orbiters in front of your nigga going off. I learned that from women. I learned. I also learned from a woman that, you know what I'm saying, not putting your kids in a dating profile. I learned that from women. It's a lot of things you learn from women from game. You also learn that, you know, a lot of women keep friend, a lot of guys in the friend zone. A lot of women keep a lot of orbiters around. Guys really tend to tend really don't tend to keep orbiters around because we don't feed off of attention and ego boost. We don't feed off of attention and ego boost. So you're never gonna catch your chick cheating on you unless that nigga tells you that she cheating on you. See, the 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 fucked up thing about the man getting caught, and yes, this is my narcissistic nature in me. The fucked up thing about him getting caught is you don't know what that bitch was doing too. You never know what that bitch is doing too, and I'm gonna tell you something, bro. I I didn't went through a chick phone in my beta male simp days, bro. I went through my ex phone. I actually went through her Snapchat. And you know how when you scrolling through the Snapchat, bro, you know, you scrolling and you can see like one week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, or one day ago, you can see like who she been talking to. The nigga that motherfucker said one week ago, one month ago, two weeks ago, 324 weeks ago, like that bitch deleted all that shit. Or she removed the people that she was talking to frequently on her Snapchat. So, you know, when you remove a motherfucker, it's like you kind of block them. They got to add you back in order for the conversation to pop up. The game is fucking cold. But a woman taught me that. A woman did that to me. And yeah, you know, she's right. Most guys are sloppy. Most guys leave that test message, leave the message open. You don't think she's going to go through your phone. How you think most of these women got Snapchat? So, so the message is gone. But, you know, the real summary of this story is people when she said that I cheated back, I brought another nigga in my house and the dude offered to stay and pay all my pay all the bills. And then Finesse said, why you ain't just break up with the nigga? You know why she ain't break up with the nigga? Because she need that nigga. She want to be with that nigga. And they would rather, they would rather be with a rich cheater, a handsome, big digging stick, six foot gaga chat cheater than to settle with a broke ass, no good ass nigga. A nigga that don't know bitch won't. A nigga that don't know bitch pussy get wet too. She'd rather. She'd rather stay. With a cheater. Nigga that's flying out strippers from New York. Clapping that big ass booty from the back. Clapping that big ass. Literally clapping that motherfucker. And she gonna stay. Because there's nowhere else to go. And you know, it's funny how like, you know, women to say like, oh, us men, we don't know when y'all, we don't know when a woman cheat. Hey, hey, ladies, let me tell y'all something. Guys that's putting on game, the same way, you know, they say men are creature of habits. Y'all bitches are not. Y'all not creatures of habit. Nigga, watch your wife, nigga. You know, she got to work. You know, your wife got to work husband, my nigga. Why the fuck her hairstyle change all of a sudden on a Sunday? She's showing a little bit more cleavage. And she didn't suck your dick before you, before she went to work. And she didn't suck your dick last night. And she wake up in the morning and look good as hell. You think she looking good as hell for you, nigga? 
You think she looking good and got that cleavage off for you? Hell no. She got looking good and got that cleavage off for that work husband. Hey, girl, you looking so damn good. You looking so damn beautiful. Don't let the nigga be handsome and attractive. Don't I hope she don't work in the office. Because women feed and love attention so much, bro, that they live in their own fucking delusion. Yo, girl, right now is about to go to work tomorrow, bro, and try to impress another man. Yo, naive ass. Mm, okay, baby, love you. I'm gonna kiss her on the cheek. Love you. Women 10 steps ahead. Duh, y'all 10 steps. Y'all gotta be 10 steps ahead. Y'all hypergamous. You think we're not 10 steps ahead? See, there's a cause and effect. There's the there's the 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 ending and then there's the destination. You think guys don't see where things are headed when shit is getting getting bad in the relationship? You think you think guys don't know? Like, damn, man, I, damn, she took the pictures down. Damn, she talking to other niggas. Damn, she looking more good than what she usually used to look. Damn, she trying to lose weight. Like, that's hints. Like, damn, she more on her phone than usual. Damn, every time I come around, she hurry up and swipe up on her phone. You think niggas don't take notes? It's just, we don't care. We don't care. We don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, you're going to need me more than I need you. Prime example. I didn't leave him. Even after he cheated and fucked that big booty New York stripper. I bet you that bitch was bad as fuck, too. Fuck that big booty New York stripper, bitch. Fuck the shit out of her. And you still stayed. You added another body. You devalued yourself to stay with a cold nigga. Instead of valuing yourself and leaving and getting another cold nigga. That's crazy. That's fucking insane. But that is how these women are. That is my bad. That's how the modern woman is. And hey, I'm just going to be real with y'all, man. You go through her Instagram. You, you Bro, <laughs> you think she the only one doing this shit? They don't have each other on their Instagram. So it's really not a relationship. It's really, it's really, it's really not even a real relationship. They ain't got each other on Instagram. Man, let's hear his side of the story. Let's hear his side of the story. And women, man, women, women think we don't see shit. Women think we don't see shit. It's just we don't care, bro. We we not led by emotions. Do you think you think we don't know when you talking to another nigga when another nigga got your attention? Bro, we know we just don't give a fuck. We know. You know how you know how like women mentally check out. You think men don't mentally check out? You don't men men don't. Uh, 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 what do we call it? We call that uh, 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 detach their emotions. You think men don't detach their emotions? She said, "I got all these niggas lined up." Nigga, I never forget when that girl told me that. So you think I'm not finna have these hoes lined up? <laughs> man, man, like, come on, man. Like, what the fuck we doing? You think I'm not? You think I'm not? You, you think I'm finna play by society rules and be a beta male simp and be miserable? Holeless? Bitchless? No gutsless? Come on, bruh. And I'm humble enough to know that you gotta respect the game. But I'm cold enough to know that I'm not gonna play no games. There's a huge, there's a huge misconception of of women believing that just because a lot of niggas is in my DM, they want me. No, bitch. When a lot of bitches is in a man's DM, it's because they want him. Not just because they want to fuck him. Because women never just want the dig and stick. We already know that. 
They never just want the digging stick. That's why she in her emotions because the digging stick was good and that money good. And how I treat you was good. Bitch, shut the fuck up and stay sucking my dick. And, 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 and I'm gonna keep paying these bills. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. She, but she, but she, she thinks she thinks she's really doing the plane. She thinks she, man, whole time, man, he pimping her. He pimping the fuck out of her. Whole time, bro, he's playing the game. He's playing his game. He's running his offense. Bro, these women will share you if you cold, bro. That's the more of the story. More of the story, all I'm saying is, my nigga, bro, these women will share you and these women will try to shame you for having options. Meanwhile, they got options. All these hoes got options. She just admitted it, bro. You think she, if she said, I got all the niggas lined up and I just picked my favorite one. So you think your girl not going to do that or don't have the capacity to do that? Nigga, nobody is exempt from this game. Nobody is exempt from this game, bro. But you get to play your own game and run your own offense and call your own shots. You don't have to play her game. You could play her game if you want to play her game, but you don't have to play her game. <laughs> it's just funny to me, bro, how I like all the hurt I've been through, bro. All the pain and shit I've been through, bro, because I was caring about what people think. I used to care about what the bitch think. Whole time, they don't give a fuck about what you think. Whole time, they talking to him, 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 and him. So if she's not the, the one for you, spin plates, as Rolo Tomasi would say. Spin plates, date them all. Especially if you're a young man. That's why you got to put your purpose first. You got to get that money first. Because at the end of the day, bro, I can't have sex three times in one day and, and be thinking about money. But see, women are so selfish. She don't know what could be going on in that man's life. ED is a real thing. And ED just don't come from, you know what I'm saying, uh, the, the the fapping or the watching the, 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 the no-nos. It could come from stress. It could come from lack of sleep. It could come from your diet. It could come from worrying about shit that's out of your control. It could come from all that. Sometimes a nigga don't want to have sex three times in a row. But it's always about her. She look like a chick that cheat. She look like she look like the type that has hella niggas lined up in her DM. She looks like the type that entertains hella niggas. Why she already got a nigga. She looks like the gold digger type. When I see a chick like her, I already know what time it is. Hey, man, stay on your grind, bro. Stay on your purpose, bro. You want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, man? Visit stephascode.com for consultations, man. I'm out.